Hi guys, Mrs. Chester here. She of the inadvertent mullet, believe me, in real life it doesn't look quite this bad. I put myself in the dining room today because it's early in the morning and I don't have any sunlight and I have moved my uh, standing lamp from my office into this room. So there's no way I could have filmed in the in the usual spot. It's also very early. I haven't even had my coffee yet, but I woke up from a dream which involved me in a police car somehow walking around a bunch of malls and it occurred to me all in a flash really what I dislike about Peanuts. Now Peanuts the comic strip has been around since the 50s, popular when I was a kid in the 60s. I think I even had that Cowabunga poster of Snoopy with the blue wave but there was something about Peanuts I never really like that was never a peanuts fanatic and i know people to this day people in the late 50s who are still pro peanuts and really like peanuts i'm saying like what is it about them i dislike and it came to me this many things now we all know mr schultz has his own personal demons but i really think that these kids these characters in peanuts are are in sheol they have no features to speak of. They have no nostrils. They can't breathe. Their eyes are little dots. They have no teeth. Even, even the dog doesn't have any teeth. They are these totally powerless little creatures that are like half head and half body. And like I said, it's from the 50s, so their clothes are pretty much stuck in a time warp. warp. Their, their legs are short. Their hands are short. They're powerless. Now, think about Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown wears a yellow shirt. Now, yellow in the chakra system is the seat of personal empowerment. But there's a big black zigzag there. It's like he's been torn in half and stuck together. Now, when I realized after I thought about this for a while, but whenever I read a Peanuts comic strip, I feel like I'm about a foot high. Because these characters are short. They're powerless. Their world is flat. Have you ever seen them climbing a hill? And, and their surroundings, their physical surroundings, everything is in profile and low down, like there's a step when you indicate a house. Even the doghouse is in profile. There's no life. There's no life in these strips. And what, what are the characters really about? Charlie Brown is always hapless. When he attempts to do something once a year, kick a football, the woman Lucy snatches it from him. This same devious woman is the psychiatrist who offers advice, so people pay to be deceived by her. Schroeder, what does he do? He's always hunched over a tiny little piano. His world is this tiny little piano. And of course, Lucy wants to attract him but he has no interest because he's obsessed with the piano. Then we have Linus. Linus with the security blanket. He's always clinging to something, clinging to something. And we have Pigpen who's just surrounded in his own cloud, his own miasma, his own life of dirt. The only, the only creature that seems to have any real life is Snoopy. And he's totally delusional. He thinks he's a vulture. He thinks he's a World War I flying ace. Now Woodstock, the little little yellow bird that appeared after the 60s, I sort of am happy about him, even though, of course, he's toothless and he's a bird and he's tiny. At least he's yellow. At least he's got a little bit of a life force in him. But I really think these other characters are in fucking Sheol. They're like in a dead world. There's no adults. They just kind of mill around each other. And, and what have they got to celebrate? In, in the Halloween season, one of them is delusional about a, bunch, a giant pumpkin, which never appears. And then we have the, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree with the one branch and the one ornament, which people have made a fetish of. You can even buy the damn things. But what is attractive about Sheol? No one ever wins. No one ever progresses. Uh, and they call it the gang, but the gang doesn't even hang out. Uh, Charlie Brown does have a sister and Schroeder. Like I said, sits on his own. Does does he have even a family? And who was oh, Lucy 
has Linus. So the only person that Charlie Brown ever seems to have a conversation with is this the younger brother of the woman who torments him. It's really pretty incestuous and sick. And like I said, it's not a gang. It's just these, these, these detached little practically faceless, blobbly, orby, just walking around. They do go to school on occasion. When they go to school, you don't even see any adults. Again, the desks are in profile. It's, it's Sheol. It's, it's a dead existence. And why anybody would celebrate children who continue in a, a dead, powerless existence with, you know, if you don't look, their ears don't even have ear holes. They can't hear, they can't breathe. They, they have no aggression, they have no teeth. They, they I don't think they have fingernails either. Do they have eyebrows? Yeah, they do have a couple. Of, it's just like the most cursory, saddest comic strip ever. And why, why, why is it popular? I was gonna go on Wiki this morning and figure out, okay, what's up with this? Uh, is there an explanation for why these sad, these pathetic, these powerless, these disassociated, these, because look at them. I mean, even when they're drawn, they, they're just like drawn separate. Do you ever see them like, you know, even giving each other a handshake? They're just, they're just pitiful. And now I realize that that's why I always felt like I was a foot high when I watched them, because they're instantly, instantaneously depressing. And um, I think that a therapist should find out in the first session, whether a person likes the Peanuts comic strip or not. I know that not liking Peanuts is not a popular thing. There are several other things I find very depressing, like purebred dogs and football. These, But people don't think, they go, oh, Peanuts, how cute. No, no, it's not cute at all. It's it's a bring down. It's, it's 50 plus years of a bring down strip that's marketed incessantly so that you think it's okay and and it's not and it's not like all comments these are going to be disabled but I'm hoping the title will give me a bunch of views and I'm going to spread this one out on my Facebook um, this is why I personally hate peanuts thanks for listening